No, this tree is really amazing. This is an amazing tree, really is. Over five stories yeah. tall. It's a monkey puzzle tree. Native to Chile and planted about 1905. Yeah, they supposedly grow to be up to a thousand years old. This tree holds many memories. Yep. We set the teepee up in the yard a couple years. We have a teepee. In the that, 25 uh, years Walter Paws <laughs> has lived in his Laurelhurst home. For some reason, my son decided that he wanted to come off the slide and try to actually grab this. <laughs> you know how boys are. <laughs> anyway, he ended up flying off the, <laughs> off the top and crashing on the ground. It's been very personal. It's those it's memories Portland personal. State Professor Vivek Shandas. <laughs> right. We've never seen this done anywhere else in the world. There's a Once written down for posterity. And how do we kind of tell stories? What's the human side of cities? How do we think about a community through the perspective of trees? In the past year, he and a colleague have received about 300 stories on the website canopystory.org. It's a wide map of the metro area. You can zoom into neighborhoods and further down into the GPS green dots of trees 50 feet or higher. Click on one you know and submit your story. Love, death, children, heartbreak, an old tree can witness it all. This is from Ivan, age six, who lives in, who lives in the Linwood neighborhood. And Ivan says, my grandma has a cedar tree that is great for climbing, exclamation point. The end. We've heard things um, about how trees provide so much shade and amount, uh, cooling. So many things we've been hearing about people who actually have sought shelter underneath tree as someone who doesn't have a home. Kim passed away several years ago, but this tree stands strong and tall. People saw us and came out of their houses to share their stories. This tree is on there, and so you could just put, upload it onto there. It'd be great. Now Thank the submission you. period is coming to an end, and Portland's history experiment might just get copied in other cities. Now these stories could help ease tensions, even sway home builders who might come in and threaten to cut down a tree to make way for new construction. Now the important thing, no city budget money or taxpayer money was used in this. Those two PSU professors just use data we already have. So visit canopystory.org to submit yours. Back to you. I love this. That's a beautiful story, Nina. And you should I submit yours. I love your tree. I yeah. love your tree. Yeah, you should, Nina. I want to hug it. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> Thank you, Nina.